the lionfish never had a chance. Bradenton's Cortland Hunt combining two of his passions, guns and spear fishing, to create an epic viral video. I'm an avid fisherman, avid outdoorsman, hunter. It just seemed like the thing to do, to take the gun underwater and shoot fish with it. He's 30 miles off Anna Maria, using a modified Glock 9mm and non-toxic rounds. Once thought to be impossible, Hunt and his buddies spent six months perfecting their deep water weapon. We needed to put a suppressor on it to make it quieter, to make it safer. Who wouldn't want to go shoot their gun at fish underwater? And, and especially a, a species that's, that's detrimental to the environment. Hello, people. While in Germany after Desert Storm, I was awarded this German sports award really has nothing to do with this video, just thought I'd share it with you. Also while in Germany, I picked up this Glock field knife. I had no idea Glock even made knives, but apparently Glock has been making knives since before they've been making firearms pretty cool. They make these in a couple different variations with and without serrations and different colors. Now that may be different today. I'm not really sure. I haven't researched Glock knives in a long time. But with an adapter, this knife can be used as a bayonet on a Steyr Aug rifle, if you've got one, which is pretty interesting. This is a Grisby diving knife made in Italy. This was given to me by my uncle when I was uh, really young. I was probably six or seven years old. He brought this home from the Navy. He was stationed on an aircraft carrier as an aircraft mechanic. And he purchased this in the commissary on the aircraft carrier. He went all over the world in that big boat. I think it's really cool that the logo on this one is a scuba diver swimming up to the helm of an old sunken ship. Most of the wear on this knife is for me. I've completely abused this, this tool growing up. And the final item we have to show you here is an RMJ Tactical Tomahawk. Now you're probably asking yourself, is that really a military tool? Well, it is. Certainly, it's not standard issue by any stretch of the imagination. However, many soldiers do covet this tool as their prized possession, and I can understand why. In a survival situation, your tools are everything, literally. This is the Shrike model from RMJ and it looks heavy but it really isn't it's just over about a pound in weight this is a, um, a sharpening stone I picked this up while working in the firearms industry uh, this company started in 2005 and I caught wind of, uh, I think I saw an ad for them on, uh, on the internet and uh, I called them up and ordered one, I ordered two actually, and gave one to my brother. These sheaths are so notoriously tight. You've got to be careful when unsheathing it or you could easily impale yourself uh, with something like this. They're 
They're, um, this is not a toy. None of these are toys. And uh, furthermore, they're not weapons. These are tools. Like anything, a tool needs to be respected. Thanks for watching, people. Make it a great day. I don't want that to be the end of the story. You know, I don't want you to buy a knife for me and put it in your sock drawer. I want you to slap that thing on and go out and, with your kids and, and go on that three or four mile hike and show them the old abandoned mine or, or go see the waterfalls or something like that. That's, that's the real story. The knife is just a means to that.